Welcome to my demo of Quiver Photos. Quiver Photos exists because there are some issues using Google Takeout. Not everybody is technical enough to figure it out. There are these JSON sidecar files that are difficult to merge. If you don't know how to you know, run these scripts off of GitHub, it's just not going to work for you. Also, sometimes Google Takeout will drop these sidecar files, they won't exist, you won't be able to get the data. I have a library, a personal library of about 15,000 photos. I lost data on about 3,000 of those photos. Really frustrating. Searched high and low. If you can't get the data out of Google Takeout, the only other way to do it is through the API. Therefore, Quiver Photos, this is why I'm working on this project. So let's look at it. We've got a quick rundown even have a guide on how to use Google Takeout. So if you want to give that a shot, give it a shot. I definitely did and have a couple of times and will continue to work with it, trying to make it work better. But until that day, you can log in here, okay? And we can go to our connected libraries. There we go, I've got multiple libraries. You're gonna add a library. So let's see what happens here. I'd like to add my test library. Now, here we go. We've got to work through some of these scare warnings. But here we are. I can pick a library. All right. I'm going to save this library. It's Coral Shrew. Let's delete the uh, test library. Delete that library. Okay. So it pulls up just some images to show a preview. Now what I've got to do is I've got to download the library. So we'll run it, and it will suck down the records for this library. So it's LCW. We're going to watch those records flow into Firebase. LCW, there we go. All right, so we can see the import going. We've got 655 records. Great. Okay, that's complete. You can see what these records look like. They're literally just copies of the media items coming straight out of the Google Photos API. So we've got access to those right there. Cool. Got some basic stats on that. And you can see all that data in a much more concise form right here. See here, here we go. So you can just, this isn't meant for anything more than to make sure you've got your photos downloaded correctly. So these are my most recent photos. It says, hey, we've got some, some test photos here. Great. And you can refresh that if you want to. Okay. So we've got 655 photos. Next, we're going to get the desktop application. We don't have a daemon. So we're going to download the daemon. Uh, we want to use Windows X64. That should work. Cool. Jump over here. Let's extract all. Awesome. I'm going to co-locate that with the folder here on my NAS. I've got a Synology NAS and I want to download to the NAS. So we're going to open that, we're going to run it. Got to work on getting signed binaries. Don't have those yet. Okie doke. So we're listening. Okay, there we are. Listening on port 8654. And lo and behold, can we connect? We can connect. Can we ping? We can ping. We can pong. We're good. Let's clear those messages. Then I got to pick a folder. Where do we want to work from? We want to work from, hey, let's go back up one. Let's go back up another. Let's go back down to small test. There we like it. We like small test. That's our, that's our directory of choice. Okay, let's try to import these, see how they go. Oh, man. So right now it's streaming those 655 records across. You can see them importing here into, there we go, we got 655 there. Look 
at that. And now it's downloading them. And now we wait. We just wait. It's going to be a bit. Let's not uh, hang around and watch this all go down, but eventually we get all our files. You can see them accumulating here in the file system. They downloaded this downloading folder, and then they land. Uh, they land right here. So you can see they're starting to land. Um, we can actually open up. OK, here we are. Now we can see this when we've got exif tool. We can uh, read out the exif for that very first one. Look through our exif, and we had better have all of our created dates. Where are we here? Those are modification dates, so that's today. But you can see the date time original is all stamped correctly. Next step in this process, I'd like to find a way to use Google Takeout to add geodata back to these photos. Uh, because when Google Takeout does export the geodata correctly, I should be able to pull it back in. Um, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to have some work to do on that. But it'll be fun.